Hey guys, this week we're going to try something totally different. Now I've never done this before, so we'll see how it turns out. We're going to paint two shad wrap style lures. I've got the base coat of white on them already. And the reason is, for the next step, we're going to go outside. Stick with me. said we're going to do this different had to come outside here they are white we're going to go with a rattle can we're going to go with some rust-oleum chrome and we're just going to paint the bellies chrome that's it let's go inside all right here we have our two shad wrapped style lures we've got the chrome bellies Still the white on top. Uh, full disclosure here, guys, I probably let these hang for three or four hours to make sure they dried real well before we move on to the next step. So what color are we going to paint them? Well, I took a look in some of the catalogs to see what do they use with chrome. And I found chrome and blue. I found chrome and black. I also found a chrome and lime. So, why don't we take for these two, we're going to do a chrome and a pearlized blue with one, and the chrome and the pearlized lime on the other one. So, let me get the gun loaded up, and we'll get ready to start. Okay, we'll go with the Createx pearlized lime. Got some of that loaded up in the gun here. And right down the back we'll go. All that bleeds over on the sides of the chrome, I'm not sure. Like I said, I've never done this before. But most of the ones I saw in the catalogs, it looked like there was a little overspray, which is about what we got. The nice lime on top. Tell you what, I'm going to hit the heat on that. We're going to dry that a bit. And then I'm going to put another coat on to get plenty on. But we're going to be very careful here, not too much heat because of using that rattle can paint. We don't want to mess that up. All right, there's a little bit of drying. Now let's go ahead and put a little more on here. There we go. We're going to call that good on that. All right, I'll put a dry on this one, then we'll move on. All right, we got the lime done on the first one. I've loaded up the Createx Pearlized Blue for the second one. And we'll just go right down the back like we did on the other. And just like I did on the other one, I'm going to take a minute here, dry this a little, and then come back again. Give a little bit more on here. All right, that's it. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and dry this, and then we'll move on. All right, there we have them, guys. We've got the chrome lime, a little bit of red on the throat, the chrome blue. Now, as I said, when I looked in the catalogs, I saw there's a chrome blue, a chrome black, and a chrome lime. Right now, I don't know if I'm really caring that much for the chrome and the lime. Uh, I like the chrome blue a lot better. Uh, maybe I should have done them blue and black, but when I bought the chrome in the rattle can, it also comes in gold. Now it's possible gold with that lime on the back might be a better combination than the lime with the, uh, when the chrome on it. But anyway, we're going to see. We're going to get the eyes put in them. We'll get a top coat put on. And then we'll get one last look at them and see how we think they look when we're all done there. Well, there we go, guys. There is our chrome lures. We've got the chrome and lime, the chrome and blue. And I don't know. We got them all done. I think I'm still going to have to go with the fact I'm not really sure on that chrome 
and the lime green, the, the pearlized lime. I think I might want to try that with a gold uh, belly and then the, the pearlized lime on top of that. I think that would look better. I do like the chrome and the pearlized blue and I also want to try a chrome with the pearlized black. I think that one should look real good also. But there we are, a different way to do things. We took a rattle can of chrome, sprayed one side with that, came back and used our regular paints with the other side, and uh, came up with something that looked a little bit different. Hey, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.